somebody call a doctor because that medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. <laughs> Guys, tonight we're doing something again a little bit out of our wheelhouse. We're taking a look at 2010's <laughs> Tangled. Now, the only thing I know about this movie is that the cast is absolutely stacked. You got John Goodman, Ewan McGregor, Mandy Moore, Zachary Levi, Ron Perlman. The list goes on and on. Ooh, so I'm excited to see how they all fit into it. You know, I usually I get around to watching some of these like animated movies because I am kind of a kid at heart. Hence, you know, we're watching Avatar. Uh, but I didn't. I missed this one. All, all I know is that it's based on Rapunzel. Mm -hmm. So it's just as what Disney does with sometimes they like to do is have a little fun with the storytelling of a certain st of a short story and have the make uh, make it the Disney way, so to speak. Uh, for those of you who are following the channel, you'd be like, oh, hey, the guys at uh, Bad Medicine are doing another Disney movie. Oh, this is going to be fun. For those of you who are new to the channel, they're probably thinking, <laughs> like, why, why are these three dudes watching Tangled? But we have had a lot of fun with the Disney and the Pixar movies. Up, um, Wally. Oh, up. Oh, no. oh, one of the greatest of all time. Had never seen it before. You guys recommended it. So. Look, all these animated movies have been a lot of fun to watch, and I'm really excited for this one. Again, Rapunzel is about all I know. Of course, we know the story of the, uh, the young woman with the long hair and the tower, but as far as how this movie plays out, I know nothing about it. Yeah, big shout out to all of you out there. This was a poll winner, so. All right, well, you guys are batting a thousand, so let's, let's keep that going. So without further ado, let's go. This is the story of how I died. Okay. <laughs> this is actually a very fun story, and the truth is, it isn't even mine. This is the story of a girl named Rapunzel. Whose voice is this? Is this Zachary Levi, maybe? It had the ability to heal the sick and injured. Centuries passed, and a hop, skip, and a boat ride away, there grew a kingdom. The kingdom was ruled by a beloved king and queen. I kind of like the queen, they're doing the narration. Well, she was about to have a baby. But she got sick. And that's when people usually start to look for a miracle, a magic golden flower. This woman, mm. Mother Gothel, hoarded its healing power and used it to keep herself young for hundreds of years. Flower, gleam, and glow. Wow, well, the animation is really good on this. I mean, 2010. A princess was born with beautiful golden hair. To celebrate her birth, the king and queen launched a flying lantern into the sky. Don't get me started on flying lanterns. <laughs> I, was, I knew it was coming. Mm, for the sake of the movie, I'll let it go. Let your power shine. I suppose the mom had the whole Make flower. The clock we... <gasps> oh. Gothel broke into the castle, stole the child, and just like that, gone. Ooh. Gothel had found her new magic flower, but this time she was determined to keep it hidden. Why can't I go outside? The outside world is a dangerous place. <laughs> oh. mm. Do you understand, flower? Yes, mommy. Oh, uh, I call her flower. Can never leave the house ever. Well, I guess Pascal's not hiding out here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, what do you want to do? I don't think so. I like it in here, and so do you. <laughs> okay, so that's Mandy Moore as Rapunzel. Yeah. Sweep again, and by then it's like 7.15, and so I'll... <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes? <laughs> more. I'm sure there's room some. I wonder how many Easter eggs are in those yeah, paintings. No, okay. From other movies. Parkour. <laughs> Hardcore parkour. They use that scene in everything for a while. Hey, Fever? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> How you manage to do that every single day without fail? It looks absolutely exhausting, darling. It's nothing. Then I don't know why it takes so long. Jeez. <laughs> So, Mother, as I was saying, tomorrow Rapunzel, is... Mother's feeling a little run down. Would you sing for me, dear? Then we'll talk. Any old age spots on her yeah. hair. Yeah. Need a little 
Pick well, me up. Yeah. What once was mine? Do what has been hurt. Change your fate's design. Save what has been lost. Come back to me. Mine. <laughs> so, so, mother. <laughs> well, I was hoping you would take me to see the floating lights. You mean the stars. I've charted stars, and they're always constant. Oh, wow. Don't ever ask to leave this tower again. See you in a bit, my flower. I'll be here. A lot of psychological issues going on there. No, 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 no. This is bad. This is very, very bad. This is really bad. They just can't get my nose right. <laughs> you guys look amazing. Stabbington Brothers. <laughs> Those two look like they belong in a Guy Ritchie movie. Uh-oh. Retrieve that satchel at any cost! Get it there! That horse is pissed! <laughs> Come on, Fleabag, forward! <laughs> forward. No. 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 <laughs> oh, that's a long way. Oh. <laughs> I feel like they got the movements of the horse from like a really curious dog or something that somebody might have had. I swear that's how it's moving. Oh. Alone at last. Oh. <laughs> the old frying pan. <laughs> oh, that sound. Oh, God. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, just a easy. Just, just a profile view, huh? It's his best side. <laughs> oh, it's in the sunlight? All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, 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 she got him again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, my back hurts. It's your, oh, oh, ow. Oh, she doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> huh. Looks hey. like it was made for you. <laughs> you think I'm not strong enough to handle myself out there. Darling, I know you're not strong enough to handle oh. yourself out there. Fanzo, we're done talking about this. Oh, she did the talk through the teeth. I know what I want for my birthday now. Soup. New paint. The paint made from the white shells you once brought me. Well, that is a very long trip, Rapunzel. Almost three days' time. Ooh, apples, cheese, carrots. I'll hit the bricks, Ma. Get out of here. <laughs> Is he gonna fall out? Oh! <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> the old face plant. <laughs> I know why you're here, and I'm not afraid of you. Who are you? And how did you find me? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pick my job off the ground. <laughs> Who else knows my location? All right, Blondie. Rapunzel. Gesundheit. Here's the thing. <laughs> I was in a situation. Gallivanting through the... <laughs> Gallivanting. Where is my satchel? I've hidden it. Somewhere you'll never find it. It's in that pot, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, we got it again. What do you want with my hair? Listen, the only thing I want to do with your hair is to get out of it. You're telling the truth? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> giving him the side eye. <laughs> you will act as my guide 
take me to these lanterns and return me home safely. Then will I return your satchel to you. Yeah. <laughs> Is he doing fingertip pushes? Yes. The kingdom and I aren't exactly simpatico at the moment, so I won't be taking you anywhere. Simpatico. <laughs> <laughs> I take you to see the lanterns, bring you back home, and you'll give me back my satchel? I promise. And when I promise something, I never, ever break that promise. <laughs> <laughs> I love Pascal. Here comes the smolder. <laughs> Blue steel. This is kind of an off day for me. This doesn't normally happen. <laughs> Fine, I'll take you to see the lanterns. <laughs> you coming, Blondie? <laughs> oh, she's got a frying pan. pan. <laughs> Look at me, there at last. She got like a backpack for her hair or something? She's dragging that through the woods. She'll think of something. No, sure. Look at Pascal, <laughs> he's all tied up! <laughs> <laughs> the old <laughs> thumbs up. Oh, she's never even touched grass. Yeah. Yeah, her feet have never touched the grass. The first time ever. I'm completely free. Mother would be so furious. That's okay. I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her. <laughs> Flint back there. I am a despicable. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. <laughs> now, I'm only picking up bits and pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only picking up bits and pieces. <laughs> Let's just turn around oh and get you home. Here's your pan, here's your frog. This pan is a... <laughs> A mother-daughter relationship based on mutual trust, and voila! Mutual trust. No! I am seeing those lanterns. Oh, come on! What is it going to take for me to get my satchel back? I will use this. <laughs> is it ruffians? Folks, have they come for me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> my Jack! They get his nose all messed up. <laughs> Keeps <still>. changing. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what I love how the horse is still on the mission. <clears throat> A palace horse. Rapunzel! Let down your hair. Uh, Not today. So is she going to start getting old like real fast now? Yeah, she's been doing it for a few hundred years. Oh, she's got the door, door locked off. Uh, the old pillow trick. <sighs> is that the crown? Oh, yeah. Now she's going to realize. <gasps> His nose. Garçon, your finest table, please. <laughs> well, maybe you should be back in your town. Is this you? Oh, <laughs> now they're just being mean. <laughs> now they're just being mean. <laughs> Put him down! I had a dream once. <laughs> oh, <God>. oh, <laughs> Look at his, he's got he's an old ball and chain on him. <laughs> I'm malicious, mean, and scary. My snare could curdle dairy. Oh, is this Brad Garrett? Yeah, yeah, he's in it. I thought I've got a dream. He's got a dream. <laughs> <laughs> We're all singing. Yeah, yeah, he does. Look at you sitting there. <laughs> Oh, I do like breaking femurs. You can taunt me with the dreamers. He also got a dream. Oh, look at the rest. The rest. I like how the building's like all offset. Yeah. You see me with the special little lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Gunter does interior design. <laughs> Killer souls, dang, that's little tough. 
<laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, boys. I don't sing. I have dreams like... <laughs> With every passing hour, I'm so glad I left my tower. She's got a dream. She's got a dream. So I'm here, princess, and really. Eyes on the goat. Got a dream. I've got a dream. I've got a dream. <laughs> 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 I found the guards. I know he's in here somewhere. Find him. Turn the place upside down if you have to. Go. Live your dream. I will. Your dream stinks. I was talking to her. <laughs> <laughs> your dream stinks. <laughs> I believe this is the man you're looking for. You got me! <laughs> He's <laughs> got the red nose. <laughs> oh, there's my guy. Maximus. <laughs> this horse is like stealing the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> like the horse nose. <laughs> Play it safe. We'll go get the crown. I got a dream. I got some dreams. <laughs> I, I just found me a tall drink of water. <laughs> <laughs> that is great stuff. That's good to run down. <laughs> Somebody get me a glass. Where are you from? Whoa, whoa. Sorry, Blondie. I don't do backstory. Frankly, I'm too scared to ask about the frog. Chameleon? Nuance. <laughs> Nuance. You want to see the lantern so badly? Why haven't you gone before? Lynn? I waited a long time for this. Oh, oh it worked. <laughs> Some skills with that frying pan. <clears throat> Barely an inconvenience. <laughs> got to get me one of these. <laughs> <laughs> you should know that this is the strangest thing I've ever done. No. You should see your faces because you look. Oh. Oh. Oh shit! He's <laughs> gonna bust the dam down. Oh, he's going to. Look at him! Look at him trot across. <laughs> I'm slowing it down. <laughs> oh, oh, there it comes. <laughs> the horse <laughs> Max Lutz was taking it straight he, on. He just looked Jeez. mad at the wave. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they got the frying pan back. Ooh, that's oh, much that's better. not good. <sighs> There's no use. I can't see anything. She was right. I never should have done this. I'm so sorry, Flint. Oh, water's creeping. My real name is Eugene Fitzherbert. Wow. I have magic hair that glows when I sing. What? <laughs> <laughs> All this time. Allow her gleam and glow. Let your power shine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a way out. Come on, Pastel, help out. Yeah. <laughs> the underwater stuff uh, just gets me. Eugene! Why does her hair glow? Eugene! What? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. We'll cut him off at the kingdom. Get back the crown. Come on. Perhaps you want to stop acting like wild dogs chasing their tails and think for a moment. I was going to offer you something worth 1,000 crowns. Oh, well, say lovey. <laughs> say lovey. What's the best part? Comes with revenge on Flynn Rider. 
So, you're being strangely cryptic as you wrap your magic hair around my injured hand? <laughs> Let your power show what once was mine. <laughs> Change the fate's design. What once was mine. Can I address what I see as a glaring plot hole? How did the mom originally know what to sing to the flower? She just knew. <laughs> just, I think if you sing anything, maybe. A gift like that. It has to be protected. That's why Mother never let me... You never left that tower. I'll spare you the sob story of poor orphan Eugene Fitzherbert. It's a little bit of a... That's a little bit of a downer. <laughs> <laughs> Tales of Flanagan Rider. Swashbuckling rogue. Richest man alive. Not bad with the ladies, either. Not that he'd ever brag about it, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell anyone about this, okay? It could ruin my whole reputation. We wouldn't want that. Well, a fake <laughs> reputation is all a man has. A fake reputation? <laughs> that was great. Oh, no. Well, I thought he'd never leave. Gee. Never. But I, 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 I don't... We... Oh. How did you find me? Oh, it was easy, really. Look how old she's getting already. We're going home, Rapunzel. Now. Y you don't understand. I've been on this incredible journey. I even met someone. Yes, the wanted thief. I'm so proud. <laughs> I think he likes me. Likes you? Please, Rapunzel. That's demented. Don't be a dummy. Come with mommy. No. No. There you go. This is why he's here. Don't let him deceive you. Trust me, my dear. That's how fast you leave you. He's lying. Don't come crying. Don't cry. Oh, those eyes they gave her, too. Mm. Selfish old bag. Hey, you all right? Oh, sorry. Yes. But superhuman strength. Can you imagine the possum? <laughs> Where's my guy, the horse? <laughs> oh, no. no, those guys. Oh. What? Oh, <laughs> it's Maximus. <laughs> well, I hope you're here to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Chameleon's red. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> That's it? What? Now drop the boot. Drop it. <laughs> He's like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you oh, are. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Nobody appreciates you, do they? Do they? <laughs> <laughs> this horse is just MVP. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Look at this Just for 24 <laughs> hours, and then you can chase each other to your heart's content. <laughs> they, it almost looked like they were going to do the who could squeeze whose hand. <laughs> uh, you know, for a minute there, I was wondering if maybe the horse might recognize her. You know, I was uh, thinking she was I'm, gonna. I thought she was gonna say her name, and the horse was gonna be like, "Oh." His leg. Yeah, you're gonna have to figure something out with that hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow, oh, look at that. <laughs> it's, it's teeth. This horse. I can't. Once again, they always have the animals to just, uh, just knock it out of the park. No, that kind Come of on, look like at the me. green eyes. Yeah. She's got to see it. 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Maximus and Pez Self. Ah, they're the MVP so far of this. Well, and they're having this whole party. It's for her. Uh, she, she doesn't even, even realize it yet. Oh, she gets more books to look at oh, too. She's learning about Re the world. Yeah, remember she could only look at those three books, yeah. right? Hey, that's Flynn Rider. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that Flynn over there? <laughs> nah, must be someone else. <laughs> Nose is different. What? I bought them. Most of them. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> you should have a decent seat. I was going to say, I was waiting for the mom to. Oh, pop yeah, them. the mom yeah. or the oh, other twins. Following them. Mm hmm. Been looking out a window for 18 years, dreaming about what I might feel like when those lights rise in the sky. What if it's not everything I dreamed it would be? Well, that's the good part, I guess. You get to go find a new dream. Well, do you know? Ugh, brutal. It's almost like her hair. Wow, so it's no, how long it is? Yeah, good call. Yeah, but, Look at that. Well, threw it and lights up. There's a lot of lanterns there. Yeah, that's a good point. How it Nice up. observation. <laughs> oh, All right. There goes the first one. Well, she's going to know the mom lied to her, too. Oh, those are stars. Mm -hmm. you know, like. I should have given it to you before, but I was just scared. And the thing is, I'm not scared anymore. You know what I mean? I'm starting to. All those days chasing down a. <laughs> hey, is this Zachary uh, using his pipes? Yeah, must be. That's awesome. Suddenly, I know if she. What if one has her name on it? Because the mom kept the name yeah. of Rapunzel, didn't she? I, I think I think so. I mean, if the parents take one look at her, if they ever see her, they're gonna. Oh yeah. Especially the way she was looking at that painting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gonna stop. Something has to stop that. Stop him. The mom. Oh. I'm sorry. Everything is fine. There's just something I have to take care of. I'll be right back. Is he going to just give it to him to get him off his yeah, back? He's going to give it to him, but they're going to catch him, and then she's going to think he left. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Yeah, and she's going to think her mom was right that once he got the crown. I shouldn't have split. The crown is all yours. We heard you found something. Something much more valuable than a crown. We want her instead. The mom's going to come out. I was starting to think you ran off with the crown and left me. He did. No, he wouldn't. Say for yourself. You would cheat. Uh, he's oh, he's tied. tied up. Yeah, it's got to be. No! Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Of course. Oh, she's going to act like she made the save. And then she's going to forgive her. My precious girl. Mother. What a schemer. Let's go. Let's go before they come to. They tied him up. Yep. This is bullshit. Don't you believe it? Yep, her plan worked. No. Look! The crown! Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Come on, Maximus. Let's get this over with, Ryder. Oh. 
I really did try, Rapunzel. I tried to warn you. Oh my god. It's always about her. Come on. That's not your mom. She had been oh, unwilling, she... unwittingly n drawing it. Yep, the whole time. Unknowingly. Oh, now it's all coming back. Come on, Maximus. <laughs> way, way over invested in this. Holy shit. I just, I just found myself like in one of those moments where I'm like, like <laughs> it was the old lady. Old lady? Wait. I am the lost princess, aren't I? Oh, I think that says yes. Mother, yep. or should I even call you that? No, you don't. Oh, shit. Yeah. Rapunzel, I spent my entire life and I should have been hiding from you. What did you do to him? That criminal is to be hanged for his crimes. And I will never oh. let you use my hair again. You want me to be the bad guy? Oh, the broken glass. She's going to cut her hair. Well, she needs her. She needs her hair's powers, though, to stay alive. Open up! What's the password? <laughs> Open this door! Not even close. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a lot. That is. Arms in. Arms in. Knees apart. Knees apart. Knees apart. Why? Why do I need to keep my knees apart? <laughs> <sighs> hey! I feel maybe this whole time we've just been misunderstanding one another, and we're really just. Yeah, you're right. We should go. <laughs> okay, Max. Let's see how fast you can run. Whoa! <laughs> he is cranking. We see how determined Maximus is. Mm -hmm. Something's up. Yeah, there's got to be a catch here. Oh, 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 what? What? It's in the oblique. It's okay. It's in oblique. <laughs> she got him in the oblique. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, hey. Hey. I will never stop trying to get away from you. But if you let me save him, I will go with you. Shh. Come on, don't. Uh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't let you do this. And I can't let you die. Oh! Eugene. No! I didn't think Eugene was going to do it. I mean, they had that glass there. You knew it was going to come into play, but... What have you done? What have you done? Oh. oh. No. Yeah, look at you now. <clears throat> well, I actually wanted her to have to live for a while with the consequences uh, of her actions. I don't think there's gonna be anything left of her. Yeah, she already turned to ash. Yeah, just dust. You are my new dream. <laughs> oh, this is good stuff. Oh, that's a good oh, line. You're my new dream. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> Wait, we're not really gonna lose him, are we? No, we can't. Come on. It's gotta be it's gotta be something. Save what has been lost. Bring back what once was mine. I wonder is there gonna be a tear? It's gonna be the tears. <laughs> oh. 
Ага. It was always inside of her the whole time. It's getting pretty gnarly. Did I ever tell you I've got a thing for brunettes? <laughs> <laughs> Right now, get down to Maximus. Go to the king and queen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that's that. That's the face. Imagine as a parent after after 18, 18 years. years. Yeah, you can see the resemblance there. Mm -hmm. I feel like you would just know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you think you would. <laughs> Get in there. Get in there and hug. Yeah, yes! Oh, look at Come that. Out. Oh, it's just a hand. Oh, oh it's a hand. It's a hand. Hand. <laughs> the party lasted an entire week, and honestly, I don't remember most of it. <laughs> Dreams came true all over the place. That guy went on to become the most famous concert pianist in the world, if you can believe it. As for this guy, well, I assume he's happy. He's never told me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Maximus. Hell, he's <laughs> frying pans. As did most of the apples. <laughs> At last, Rapunzel was home, and she finally had a real family. She was a princess worth waiting for. Did Rapunzel and I ever get married? And after years and years of asking and asking and asking, I finally said uh, yes. I was going to say. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. I asked her. <laughs> Sorry. I you just <laughs> blew a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we gotta watch this. Oh, this is kind of oh, cool. Cavern. So, Get shot here. Yeah. Rapunzel's Tower campsite. Avoid this. The dam. Avoid this. Oh, that's <laughs> <up. laughs> You know, when we looked up to see who was in this, there was a lot of names that I don't know if made it. Like, I don't recall hearing Ewan McGregor or John Goodman in this, unless John Goodman was the king. But he didn't have no, any they, speaking uh, lines. Uh, yeah, so. they didn't have any. We'll have answer pull up our stats. Yeah. Find me something that I want. <laughs> <laughs> Old Maximus. Wow. Still the show. Someone comes along and shows you a brand new Mark Hamill. The Mark <laughs> Hamill? Because <laughs> uh, of the E and an I. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to get to the to the cast how they do this. Yeah, it's kind of what I'm curious about as well. Easy to make believe it seems you're living in a... Wait a minute, lighting supervisors. Lighting and, and, and the lanterns. <laughs> it's animated. <laughs> well, maybe they had to have lighting for the... Who knows? We're in the studio. <laughs> Where they were working. Hang up the lamps. Something that oh, there there we go. So Zachary... It was Zach, more okay, we got that right. right. Okay, I guess we're only gonna okay, get. They just gave us the top, top billing for. Uh, oh, there's cast. Okay, yeah, show the cast. Yeah, because I looked at uh, on IMDb, it didn't have it either. Yeah. All right. yeah. Why don't we? And it was so uh, Ron Perlman uh, was in it. Brad Garrett was. That was right. Paul F. Tompkins. Yeah. See, that was it. Okay. Yeah, I don't see John Goodman's. Yeah, no John Goodman or Ewan. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you got the wrong they li movie. They yeah, lied to the, us. The internet's never wrong, allegedly. All right, guys. Oh, wow, that was that was tangled. Fun. What a surprise that was. Um, you know, we have been checking out a couple of a uh, couple of animated classics here lately on the channel, and you know, Wally and Up, of course, dis did not disappoint. And this one falls right into the same uh, right into the same catalog, oh where it was a lot of fun. I mean, I picture this as one like if you have uh, nieces or daughters, and you're like, "Oh, you want to watch Tangled again, huh?" Oh darn, you know, and you're laughing at the horse because oh you know, god, Maximus, how could you not? And Pascal right. and everybody else, you know, you're gonna love it as much as that. Yeah, and you're like, "Oh, okay, I guess we can watch it again." But <laughs> you know, it was it was fun because like so many Disney movies. Uh, and you know later Pixar 
Uh, one, the animation was outstanding for 2010. I mean, that was really good. The colors really popped. You you really felt like you were in that world. Like you're almost being, well, you, mean, you were being told a story, but almost like a book come to life. So that was a lot of fun. And I love how they have enough adult jokes in there and themes kind of where it's still entertaining for you to watch if you know even if you are a little bit older it's still very enjoyable um boy what i mean what a story of you know some parents who who think their daughter's gone for 18 years and then at the end they finally get her back the whole time she's being held by, i'll just call her an evil witch because that's essentially what she is being held by this evil witch using her for her own personal gain and just being told like all these it's like the most i mean i know we talked about twilight having some toxic relationships in it but this was just terrible i mean yeah, this evil witch bad. is like turning first off she's lying to her for 18 years i can't believe i'm getting this worked up about a disney pixar but you know, they did such a good job of making her so evil in that, in the way she would have these arguments with Rapunzel, and then she always found a way to spin it around and make herself, the evil witch, the victim of it, which is just like classic, like 101. I don't know if you call it, you know, gaslighting or, you know, what you mm. call it, but it's obviously terrible. And it's just like, man, to create a villain like that, that you just hated, that was, that was really well done. I thought the timing of it, was perfect it was just long enough where it didn't really have any dead spots you know you didn't really feel like it was getting long it was it was just the perfect length something you could really uh get oh, into yeah. and enjoy hit all the important parts and like i said you know the mvps of maximus and pascal you know disney always does a great job oh, with yeah. animals and stuff so you knew that was going to be a hit but uh you know and obviously a lot of themes in there with uh you know uh, with Rapunzel knowing that her 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 gifts and her strength were inside her, not because of something superficial like her hair, mm -hmm. and that's obviously a great theme. Um, obviously, a great theme for a lot of young girls who might be watching this, you know, at at a certain age, where you know what's important is who you are and not superficial things like your hair or looks or whatever it might be. So I really like that, and you know, just overall, I mean, gosh dang, guys, this was. This was a yeah, lot of I fun. I figured that man. was even going to get erased. Yeah. Oh, the 4.25 was coming off, answer. That oh, of course. Else. So here, give I can give me that. Uh, <laughs> give me, give me <laughs> a pen. Give me a mark. And, uh, you know, the thing we've talked about with these animated movies is what would you do different to make it perfect? I... <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know what I would do different. Maybe have more Maximus. Yeah, more Maximus <laughs> and Pascal. That, just have them uh, have their this, own. This was a lot of fun. You guys have just been just been crushing it. And uh, should we? Uh, I think we will. Oh! <laughs> I think we will. I was gonna go with a four or something, but you know what? It was hey! a lot of fun. Hey, if a couple of 30 and 40 something year old guys <laughs> can sit here and watch Tangled and be completely entertained. What more do you need to know? I mean, first of it made five hundred and ninety-two million Jeez. at the box office. What a it and, it, and that's in two thousand ten dollars. And that finished third yet behind Shrek Ever After, and I believe I found that's one like more. Million. And it's this is just a real fun movie. I mean, what more do you want out of an animated movie? It had great music. It had mm -hmm. you know all original scores. I love the way that they. Did their own spin on the Rapunzel story. I mean, it's pretty close, but like, but yeah, the evil mom or whatever she wanted to be. Don't you dare call her. Oh mom. my god, she witch. she was an evil witch <laughs> all the way. It could use the B word, but I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna find for an anime. Not for now. Uh, <laughs> off screen, I will. But you know, and it was great just how manipulative she was. Just always, oh no, 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 nothing's good. Oh there. no, I'm the bad no, guy. No. Oh yeah, exactly. Oh, god, that oh no, got now me. I'm the bad guy oh. every time. And I, the you know, and I love always love the stories of like ah, I'll just do this, just to get what I need, just to get what you need. Mm -hmm. Whatever, and then they just start coming together. <laughs> and I knew they were going to tease us with like a few kisses, and then they had the dance. And then I love that Maximus, they just shook hooves or, <laughs> or hands or whatever you want to call it, and then he gives the old <laughs> kidney, which I think I think that's kind of where uh, they kind of did that then with uh, Thor and Hulk uh -huh. in one of the Marvel movies where after the fight also, and Hulk just smashes <laughs> Thor. So it's always great. So it was awesome that Maximus came around and, 
you know, helped out the good guys, you know. So, I mean, you couldn't you couldn't fight anything less than this score. It, it was so much fun. I, of course, have to give it five answers. It was funny. The songs were great. Yeah. Well, Mandy, yeah, Mandy Moore, Moore, Mandy Moore, Mandy Moore it, I so. think, was great because mm -hmm. she could sing. And But Donna Murphy, I didn't know that she had the pipes like that. And then even Zach at the yeah. end, him singing. I was like, wow, that this this was great. And Brad Garrett's song with the with all the pub grubs or whatever yeah. they were calling them, they did a great job as well. I loved it. Fine. A lot of fun. Yeah. I You know, a, a big part of how I measure – uh, the quality of movie, um, at least for myself, is how invested I find myself getting. And you come into movies like this and, you know, look, I, I think it's going to be fun, right? But I, I just didn't imagine myself <laughs> getting this invested. One, they have a, a great villain, mm -hmm. right? A great villain. And when you... Look, we, obviously, clearly, it's a work of fiction, okay? <laughs> so when you're, when you're watching a work of fiction, and you just... Oh, you we're just worried really, we're going to have to get the straps out to hold them back really from that TV under, screen. <laughs> really, get under your skin. Like, this first one is the worst. You know they've done a good job, <laughs> right? Um, and, uh, and they did that with the mother here, um, the hero... Uh, the unlikely hero, I think, is a fun story. Look, he was just trying to get away with, ironically, what was her hers yeah, to um, begin with. So that was uh, that was a cool uh, twist to the story. Um, but you know, the, 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 there's so much about this movie that makes it phenomenal. First, as as Lisa Gwynn had talked about, like I, I can picture the thing, like, oh, let's watch Tangle, and you're like. <laughs> I mean, I'll be like, yeah, hell yeah, you, I love it. Like, wait, you love it? But you're like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess. And you're like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, it's, it's, and they, I tell you, they do such a good job with these movies, making it entertaining for everyone. Of course, I don't, you can make it for kids, right? Like it's yeah. a cartoon, you made it for kids. I can't imagine any adult watching this movie and not having a fantastic time just look, we're three like three like middle-aged dudes like watching you know watch you men's men watching uh, tangled together absolutely loving it and it just i well, mean they just hit a home the run i mean they you're 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 taking a, a timeless story right so this isn't a new story but you're you know you're you're telling it in such a manner that is entertaining you know obviously i I don't know if Pascal was in the original book or the original, been. you know, the original fairy tale, but man, did he just add so much to this movie. Maximus, the horse, oh, and everything oh. they did. Look, you could have just had a horse. The expressions, the mannerisms, when, you know, she talked to moved. the horse and they <laughs> agreed for them to just, you know. And it's my birthday. Just, just want to say work that. kind of together for one day. And, yeah. You know, the mannerisms of the dog. Yeah. I mean, it was it was just brilliant and such an enjoyable movie. Um, from an entertainment standpoint, this movie is it's it's an absolute grand slam. And then they hit you with the lessons, and this movie was just phenomenal for that. And um, it's 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 a lot like Up in that they get you pretty much with the frying pan with the lessons. Um, I, I really loved that uh, Rapunzel preferred Eugene to Flynn Rider, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, that was kind of like the first, like, like really solid lesson is that like she liked him for who he really was, this character that he created in his head to be larger than life, to yep. be somebody more exciting and, and, and what he perceived as being more, um, valuable than who he really was, orphan he really was. Um, I thought that was great to yeah. her say, you know just... what? I prefer Eugene. Um, <clears throat> when did the, and when did this movie come out? 2010. 2010. 2010. So the name Eugene, not, um, I, I don't know that it's that popular of a name anymore. So it's my father's name. Yeah. So in, obviously for a, a lot of years, uh, a very popular name, but you know, don't know that it is as much anymore. So, um, to have a young man in this story with the name Eugene might be a, a little bit different. Of course, Rapunzel is, uh, <laughs> is not the most normal name. But the fact that she liked him for who he was, uh, I thought was phenomenal. His sacrifice at the end, him cutting her hair, he was basically <laughs> sacrificing mm -hmm. his life 
so she could live hers. He knew that as long as she had that hair, that the mother was going to keep her locked up and keep her uh, hidden away from the world so that she could stay young. And he knew, or at least he thought, that if he cut her hair, then she wasn't going to be able to heal him, but the mother would have no use to keep her locked up anymore. So his sacrifice, I mean, that's a huge sacrifice. Um, and and he, the uh, scene, how they showed it, it was just like, yeah, yeah. I mean, so here's here's a guy like says, didn't even miss a strand. That's I mean, the thing. What what I mean, what display or, or uh, <clears throat> symbol of love is there stronger than sacrificing your own life so somebody can live theirs happily because she was going to be locked up mm-hmm. and she was, I mean, and what a what a powerful. You know, I thought she had other things planned, so of course I can come out and say, okay, well, we have Rapunzel was going to sacrifice the rest of her life and live in misery um, just to heal him, but I felt like she had something up her sleeve still. <laughs> some, some, um, kind of some, some sort of plan, like, uh, I don't think you have to hold, you know, she was saying, oh, I'm, you know, I promise I'll do this if you do this. Like, eh, look, we've, it's nice to keep your promises and stuff, and I know earlier in the movie she said she didn't break them, but I don't think... Uh, anybody's gonna, you know, hold it against you if you break a promise to <laughs> yeah. his mother. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, um, <clears throat> kind of the the biggest thing that I think is uh, kind of the lesson that hit home the hardest for me, Mason Quinn, kind of already brought up, is that um, the magic was never in her hair. You assumed it was in her hair, but because it glowed, but uh, the magic was inside her the whole time, and sh- who she was as a person. And uh, you know, I. I get a little preachy on this channel. I don't think I need to get too preachy on, um, you know, pressures on young women and young men. I'm not just going to. So if you're a younger man out there, look, we we know there's pressure on you as well. But um, your hair, your clothes, your makeup, all the all the bullshit that that people worry about and people judge each other on like that's none of that is who you are as a person. None of it. Doesn't matter if you cut your hair, doesn't matter if you don't wear makeup, doesn't matter if you put on weight, lose weight, tall, skinny, white, black, doesn't matter the color of your skin, the color of your hair, any of that. What matters is who you are inside as a person. And that is, to me, an incredibly powerful lesson, a powerful message for anybody watching this movie. Um, Of course, we can say it's a Disney movie and it's, you know, targeted at younger females um but i don't care who you are that's an incredibly powerful message that um that the magic in each person is who you are on the inside and that's how it was with rapunzel so an entertaining movie Mm -hmm. that Mm -hmm. gets you invested it sucks you in like look we go into this knowing it's a Disney movie. It's probably going to have. It's going to be good. It's going to yeah. have a. Ha- but if you, you probably just assume it's going to have a happy ending, right? Oh yeah. But like, I was there was a, there was a few moments there. I don't know if it's going to make the cut, but there was a few moments where I was like, well, well, shit, what's and like in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, it's a Disney movie. There's going to be some sort of happy ending. But you just get so yeah. so invested. So it, it gets you invested. Um, the, the character development is especially those two uh, animals. Everything about this movie was uh, was an absolute grand slam. And honestly, like for as much as I loved Up and for as much as I loved some of the other movies, um, this is right up there, right at the top with those. So um, there is no other score. And I have yet to <laughs> smack Mason Quinn uh, live during one of our reviews, but I was coming pretty close. There is no, n- he was he, oh, he, he was <laughs> it was at work the whole time. Look, there's no other score for this movie <laughs> other than a five. Mm-hmm. And of if course, you made it this far into the movie, and I know I just said it, I'm gonna say it one more time, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Who you are inside as a person, that's the shit that matters. Again, that I'm, trumps everything else. Everything else. Look, and I look, I I work. <laughs> Look, I work in the fitness industry. It's a superficial industry, and some of the most warm-hearted, kind, best people I know are in this industry. And the, the reason that I bring that up is because even the people who you think are the prettiest, most perfect people, 
like you peel all that shit away a good person is a good person and so look i know i know that sounds cliche sometimes but man that lesson hit home really hard for me and it's almost one of those things where again you didn't plan on getting a little emotional watching a, a, a disney movie but yeah, that's what they're trying to do to you and they're you succeeding know, shit, they like I, you. you know i'm at a point in my life i'm 43 where i'm i'm pretty good with where i'm at but i have teenage nieces and nephews and stuff like that and it's you know you, you worry about this world they're growing up with with social media and, mm -hmm. and all the pressure and it's like shit like who you are as a person that's matters that's what matters it doesn't none of the other bullshit matters so if you're watching this you made it that far please always keep that in mind magic mm. is not in your hair or your clothes your makeup or anything it's who you are it's you got the magic in you is what i've been magic told in you that and i've heard correct. that in a song or pretty two sure rush said that so <laughs> pretty, sure well, that right. rush? <laughs> pretty sure that was all right, right. i got the yeah, magic in me as well as you got the magic in you so does appleton oak that's mason quinn and i'm of course the answer good night pals